Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show again, out aboard Wayne Commons boat, Thresher. No, we're not Thresher shark fishing. We're going to be looking for two different species. Might have a go place fishing, might have a go, who knows. Maybe turbot on a bank, and of course there's always the bass there. But they're all catch and release over here in the UK at the moment, or this particular time that we're filming. So basically it's just a question of going around looking for mackerel. Well done Wayne, that's there, a rarity. There is an elusive fish, I can that assure is, you. That's rarer than rocking horse doo doo, that one. Yeah. Well, that's a good sign, isn't it? Well, any, any mackerel's been a good sign recently. They are so scarce, it's uh, it's frightening, really. It's been dire this year, isn't it? I mean, we're like middle of July. Well, they've, they've been getting um, fewer and fewer. That's what anyone tells you. This has been going on for a number of years. Um, you, well, know. You, you can tell, because you've come out with frozen mackerel. So, well, I mean, that's we, the way we, it's been, isn't it? So we come a few miles offshore, beautiful weather. Um, we've had an absolutely fabulous 2018 summer, but the fishing hasn't sort of reflected it yet this year. Whether it's all going to come in the autumn, who knows? I'm sure it's going to be um, in, a, in amongst these mackerel. If the mackerel start to show, then other species will be not far behind them. But for the moment, we're fishing what sort of light tackle weighing for these fish going over these banks just see what's down there yeah i mean uh i've caught a couple of um girders. i just want something a little bit different um, yeah obviously there's going to be bass on these banks we know that so depending on what you're dragging if the tide's running hard these bass will grab literally you drag past their faces they really are um, feeding, they're aggressive they're yeah. feeding hard not always like that of course we know that but um at the moment they are feeding really hard but uh if you put like a small sliver on you might pick up a, a gurn and you might pick up a bonus flatfish it could be yeah. a turbot a brill um place you know uh, so just trying for something different really just to uh you know make a make a day of it just so so we're going to basically start wayne's going to try uh, a dead bait he's going to try a dead bait on there uh, and i'll stick a trusty lure on and see what we can uh, find with the lure well first top down wayne yeah that's what you call is that beginner's luck wayne <laughs> what do you think <laughs> <laughs> i think it's years of experience <laughs> well yeah, it's... Uh, and that was just winding up, wasn't it? Just, you know, just, well, I, I looked at the sounder and they were off the bottom. So uh, I thought to myself, right, if they're off the bottom, let's let's reel the, the bait up. And I got about halfway up and wallop it like a train. And what, are you on bait or lure? I can't remember even what you put down. Uh, a joey, a dead frozen mackerel. Um, but uh, it feels like a reasonable fish. It really does. I mean, uh, and here he is. Here he comes. I see him in the water. Here he is. Oh, let's get him in. Oh, look. Oh, beautiful. Blue, beautiful. Oh, big fish, yeah. Beautiful hey, you got your bait back. <laughs> That's a cracker. And, they, and there you have it. Look at that. First drop. What's a lovely, lovely fish. Look at that. Right, we'll, we'll get him back in quick because uh, we'll yeah. get a quick picture of him and get him back in quick. But look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely fish. And there's, oh, look. The hook's come out in the net. Fell out. So there we go. So he's a, he's a lovely fish. Oh. Lovely fish, Wayne. Yeah, beautiful. Loads of life in him. Let's get him straight back. So he's in again, Wayne? Yeah, the, the uh, mackerel we caught earlier, I put it on. And literally, it, as soon as I felt it hit the bottom, I took one reel up and it was on, straight on. So it doesn't feel like a huge fish, but uh, <clears throat> we obviously had a little bit of a play for the um, gurners and bits and pieces, but the tide's running too hard, so we thought, well, we might as well have some good so, sport. So, so people know what sort of tide's flowing here, right? It's about three knots, you say? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit over three knots, actually, about three and a half at the moment. But, uh, oh, look at this. Look. He's going now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So for stuff like place, you want a lot slower tide, don't you really, I guess? Yeah, well, as a rule of thumb here on the south coast, what, what we, um, well personally, what I say is, if uh, if we get to, um, now look at the size, this is not a big fish, but look what he's here. Well, he's a nice fish actually, so I say that, doing it a little disservice. But look at the, look at the mackerel he's hit, no messing about. But look at the, look at the mackerel, and the size of bait he's gone exactly. for. Exactly. So we'll keep him in the water, we'll T-bar him off. 
Oh, well, there you go. Look, oh, he's, he's unhooked himself. There you go. Straight so, back down. And the bait again is going to get consigned to the seabed. Oh, he'll go down again. What, what I'll show you, a little, little um, thing I'll do here. He's, he's got a bit smashed up around the nose area. See, I mean, we're, we're recreational fishing, so we're using a single hook. Um, when it starts to get a bit chewed around there like that, because obviously what I want is just the point of that hook, just, you know, showing like that. But when it gets a bit chewed, it has a tendency to turn around, bury itself back in the bait. And then, I've had this before, they'll take it, but they won't get hooked. They'll swallow it even, and then you'll just pull it straight out. So what we tend to do is, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess, but because we're so short of nice mackerel, what I'll do is I can go back through his nose like that, and I'll get a piece of cotton, bait elastic, and wrap that round there, to, to, to just to keep that like that. Like a support. Exactly, just to stop that from, from turning around going in the bait. So I'll wrap a little bit of a bait elastic just around here, just around to keep his mouth shut, if you like. Yeah, yeah. And it keeps uh, that hook point clear, and that's the thing. Exactly, because that's what you want. You want that, because when it gets engulfed, wallop, and they invariably get hooked in the jaw, nice nice, nice to be released then as well. So, because uh, we're fishing for sport at the moment, we're not allowed to take any bass as it stands. Um, whether that'll change or not, I don't know. But it's, it's the rules, and unfortunately rules is rules, so they're going back. Well, we're motoring around and Wayne's just, uh, oh, good man, found a huge, a huge shadow, wasn't it, on the echo yeah. sound away. I, I was wondering whether they were mackerel or, or the... Bait fish, yeah. There's been a lot of t uh, very small little bait fish around. But I say we've got to really make hay while the sun shines with, with these because... Uh, the They've been so rare, yeah. Yeah, been hard to get hold of, so... Uh... Right, I'll get my uh, feathers out there, will we? Well, I've gone for a slightly bigger lead. Oh, I've got the biggest lure I've got in my tackle box here, it's a weedless one, because you can see the size of these mackerel down there. Uh, Wayne's, he's already in the water, he doesn't mess about. So I'm going to try this one, see what happens. That was 10 seconds, Wayne? 10 seconds, yeah. the bottom, no, I must be close in the lures and, and there's nothing. Weird, isn't it? Oh, there we go, no, i got a pull. So a good size one, Wayne? That feels reasonable. Decent yeah. size, yeah. yeah Decent some, size fish. I mean, there's some huge fish here. There really is. This, this doesn't feel uh, massive, but they're all, they just fight so well. And the other, the other day you said some others followed them up or something, didn't yeah. they? Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're just, they're just really nice, strong fish. You and know? they're good sized fish, aren't they? Yeah. Good average. Yeah, oh, the average on here has got to be four or five pound as an average. But there's some big old fish in there as well, but there you go, we'll get him in the net, it makes it easier, than, you know, easier on the fish as well, so, well there you go, there's that fish we've just uh, got the hook out very very simply, and I'm just going to literally reverse that net and watch him go, lovely job. Fish, aren't we? There you go then. Yeah, right near the bottom that was. Yep. There you go. And no doubt that those lures would work because they're feeding hard. I had a doubt when you had three fish and I have had nothing. <laughs> Game's quiet because it would be nice to get something like a PB because I've not had a really, really big bass. I think the last big bass I had was with you, Wayne. It was. Uh, was it last year? Yeah. But you've, you've, you know, there are some animal fish out here, aren't there? there Apparently. There's some sort of absolutely massive fish on this bank, and I've no doubt that there's 14 and 15 pound fish on this bank. I know there's, I know someone who had a 14 pounder here, so. A 14, uh, really? That's enormous. 
over the last two seasons, I've had about five double figure fish up to 12 pound or so. And then in the winter, you've had them big on the bait. What was that one you had? That was a mind blower, that one where you had a cod and stuff as well. 16 pound two bass. 16 two. That was winter fishing. And uh, right at the end of the day, I had a bit of scabby old um, cuttle on, and I thought I, I need to pull in my other line. So I put a light, a light rod out with it on. Yeah. And as I was pulling the other lines in, it sprang over, and I thought, here we go. And uh, yeah, big old fish. Club record, ECA club record. Oh, that's a big fish, isn't it? Yeah. You don't get many of them in a lifetime, would you? Uh, For uh, sure. No. That's another statement, no, no. I just want to get this one inside my lifetime. <laughs> he's going well. Yeah. If he's five pound, I'd be amazed, but here's a light rod. And of course, you can have some brilliant sport on light tackle. Not light line, not stupid light line. I've got 20 pound leader. What leader are you on there, Wayne? Um, my, my actual trace. Yeah, the trace and that, yeah. My trace is 20 pound. 20, uh, yeah. Yeah, just, just mono. It's not even um, uh, fluoro. You don't need fluorocarbon here. You don't either. I mean, it's. A friend of mine was using. Um, that's a nice wow, one. Wow, that's a nice one. That's a nice That's one. a lump. Yeah, beautiful. Look at him. He's a corker, Graham. Don't fall off, don't fall off. <laughs> If he comes off, it doesn't matter because he's going back anyway. Get fish. in there. Yes! That's a beaut. That's a lovely fish. Hey, Look at that. That is, that is not far off. The, I don't know if I even had a 10 pound. I might have had one 10 pound with Wayne. Just to check this one out. You definitely had a 10 pound on last year. Yeah, with you, you, yeah. Oh, no, that, 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 that one right on the lip on that lure. Beautiful. What a cork. Boom that way. Handsome, handsome fish. Beautiful fish. Lovely fish to catch. <laughs> Just look at those colours on that bass. With the beautiful blue English sky, which is a rarity, although not this fear, perhaps the size of that now. Right, I'll get this one back, Wayne. You all ready for another run? Absolutely, let's go. Well, down we go again. That's it, just hit the bottom. Now, I don't even remember what I was doing. I think I hit the bottom and just raised the rod top and bang, he was on. Check that drag, Graham. And we be on what, the top of the bank now coming up, Wayne, or just off the edge of it? Uh, we're not quite on the top of it yet. We're just coming towards the top of it. And you can see where it goes from smooth to ripply. Maybe you won't see it with this camera being wide angle. You might not see it, but it's just a smooth area here. And then it goes into ripple where it tumbles over the bank. Wayne's in straight away. Yeah. No, he's off. Oh, I'm going to keep winding. Drop that band fast, drop it down again. That's, that's take zone, not a drop the bank. Imagine the, the water's rushing up the bank, and yeah. as, as it does. They're there to grab whatever gets swept up. Ready to whip it. But they're in a very small zone in relation to the front of the bank and the back of the bank. They're not going to come all the way off the bank, are they? They, they must grab it and go back to the station where they were. Now you can see the ripples there that's caused by the water rushing over the bank. And there we go, in again. Oh, Wayne's in again. I basically took a chance that my, my bait was still on. And it was. Just run through your tackle for one, Wayne. What sort of gear are you on there? Okay, well I've got a, a little Shimano bait casting reel, which I find is a very easy reel to use. That's why that's why I use it. They don't seem to last too long, but um, they, they're, they're very good. A nice bend in this rod. This is a 12 to 20 uh, multi-tip leader, multi-tip rod. So you can change tips on that one, yeah? Yeah, you can. Yeah, sl slightly sort of um, you know a heavier medium. Tip whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, bit of a bang there. It looked like it, didn't it? The braid on there, Wayne. Yeah, that's. Uh, I say, um, I'm only, I'm, it's only what it actually is. Uh, there's, the other brands are available. 
This is a, a lead, um, it's not the rod's leader, it's a Berkeley Whiplash Green, which yep. um, I find is a very reliable braid. And what sort of strain would that be? Or? Uh, this is probably uh, uh, 20, 25 pounds, something like that, 30, 30 pound maybe. Um, and this, this doesn't look a bad fish weight anyway, it's no, kicking. No, but, but they, they fight so well. I mean, it's such a difference. As I say, I had a 16 pound bass in the winter, came up easy, not much fight. It would do with a pound and a half of lead. Here, with, light, with a small lead, drifting on the bank as well, obviously I was anchored when I had the other fish, we're drifting now, they fight so much harder, even a fish half that size would fight better, and this as you can see, it's going well, it's this, going this, well. this one's done five or six runs to try to get back to the bottom, and uh, and I, I wouldn't say it's a, a, the, the biggest fish on the bank, but it's um, clearly a, a, a we're all, the boat's tilted because we're all leaning over the side <laughs> trying to see it, all two of us, it's clearly a, a, a healthy fish, you know, by the way in which it's um, putting, putting up a scrap, as you can see, there it goes again. He's still stripping you, Wayne, and he's as near the is. surface then. Yeah, yeah, didn't like the boat. So peaceful and quiet out here as well. I think my ledge is bumping over the uh, bank there, that's those little tip marks on it. Look at this for a oh, fish. Oh, this is a this is a this is a fat one, Wayne. That's fat. Look at that. Look at, look at that. belly on that one. <laughs> look at this one. Hey. Oh, oh no take your time. No one who's fighting well. That oh. is a lump. Oh look my word! Look at that one. Look at that for a bass, boys. <laughs> There's no question. That's a double, that's surely, a double. Wayne. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a double. Hundred percent. That fish is going to go ten, ten pound, maybe eleven. That is every angler's dream, isn't it? Let's get one that sort of size. That is a big old fish, big old fish. Right, leave you do the honors, get that one yeah, back, Wayne. I want to check back. my rod over. I'll just check over here. I think I got bumped on the way down, then, Wayne. Sorry? I thought like I got about a bang on the way down. Did. You're just letting yours drag like that, Wayne. Yeah. Just, yeah. Obviously, we're coming over the back of the bank, so I'm just letting them all know. There's nothing on that one. On again, people. That's that orange lure, but no question about better in it, Wayne, for, for number of takes. Yes. It does seem better. And it's not even live bait either we're using, it's fresh, fresh, fresh dead. dead, yeah. But frozen works and as you're showing, lures work. It's just when they're in that feeding mode. And I've got the 15 pound line on this, well, had it on, it's taking it out now. 15 pound line on there. A little Tokushima, I don't know what, 1,000 size reel. The old kanji rod, the old white kanji rod, which I have loved and I found when I used a beach, beach trip recently, it's set up there, unbreakable. Well, I've never found an unbreakable fishing rod, but let's hope it stays that way just for this fish. Is the water as clear as you uh, would want it? I know we're catching fish, Wayne, but would you, is this a bit smoky or do you like clear water or does it not matter out here? Right, it's not crystal clear, okay, but do you know what? They're, they're, they have no problem seeing the lures and the baits, are they? No, no, that's true, yeah. What, what yeah. we look down in the water and see, we, we don't know what a fish sees, it lives in that environment. I'm pretty certain it's not just the sight, it's the vibration, you know, the movement, everything. That bit of smell on the bait maybe, if you're using bait. Potentially, I mean, there's no smell on the lure, mind, is there? Yeah, that's true, that it's is true. The vibration that they're, um, the, the, or sight that they're seeing for, for the lures, but th look, their eyesight's going to be tuned in for the environment. So, uh, and, and the other thing I suppose you've got to think of is, well, hang on, me drag, <laughs> is the fact that this current's so fast, any bait fish going, if they don't eat it fast, it's gone, isn't it, in the current, they've missed it. Well, you, Another bass will have it. You when know? this slows down, we'll put strips of mackerel on and we'll see if we can pick gurnards up and bits and pieces. As it stands, with the tide ripping through, yeah, exactly that. It's, it's going past them so quick, they haven't got time to think about it, so it's either hit it or, or miss it. And, and they're hitting it. Um, I think when the tide slows down, that's when live baits will come into their own. 
You think so, yeah? I'm sure of it. Because then they get a little bit more fussy and they can actually see the bait a bit better and, and if something don't look right about it, then uh, maybe they won't hit it. Silence envelops a boat as a deadly duo. Wonder what the F is, the size of this fish, because they don't seem to be small fish on here at all. There's my lead, there's a little boom. He's hanging deep. He will, as I would say, he will do nicely. Another very nice yeah. fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, there you go, people. A chunk of a bass. Let's get in. We're going to zoom these so people know how to put them back. You can put them back in the net or you can zoom them in head first, I suppose, Wayne. Yeah. I'll just lift them out. Graham, if that's not £10, then uh, I'm, a, I'm a Dutchman. Hold still. I'm just going to pick him up the right way without getting the hooker. You can see that lure. Just nailed it big time. What a fish. Look at that. Absolute animal fishing out here. Look at the hook. Perfect. Let's get that puppy back. No, don't worry, Poe. Yeah, Our hook virtually fell out then. I'm going to zoom him in, Wayne. Look at that. Oh, I'll let him go slow. I'll let him go slow. There he goes. Wow. Straight under the boat. Brilliant. Appreciate that. Thank you very much, Wayne. Excellent. Catch and release bass fishing. I'll book again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't charge, by the way. <laughs> it's a friends only. There you go. Thanks, yeah. Uh, when you said you had that big one on it, it, uh, it took well anyway, let's say. It, you see what it does on the uh, way up, but it took well. It looks trying, that did. But it, it, if you get it right, it's on what seconds it's on the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. It's absolutely hits the 10 bottom. to 15 seconds. Hits the bottom, take one reel up, and bang. The difference between me using mono and Wayne using braid for feeling the bottom is, is very, very noticeable here. I am sort of having trouble feeling the bottom with my mono. Here, he here he goes, there's the net. He's not a big fish, he just hit like a train. I'm saying, look, I'm saying it's not a big fish. Not a big fish, we're all blase now, we're all blase with it. <laughs> it is a good fish. Fish is what, six plus sevens? Yeah. No, nah, it's probably seven, isn't it, Wayne, that one? It's a bit churlish to say it's not a big fish. I mean, it's a, it's a lovely fish. Right, look at that. Hooked perfectly in the jaw. So, we'll do this in real time. This is how quick we can have them back. Let's get that hook. I'm not even use the, I can get that hook out with my fingers. Pop. There's the hook now, and uh, he's going straight back in. Right, Are you ready? All ready. Now he's gone. Jim, Jim, there he goes. Brilliant, <laughs> fantastic. Well, we're coming in shore now. Um, the tide has eased out there, slacked off. So that has obviously put that type of fishing over there with lures and bait, that's out the window now. So we're going to come inshore and fish on a reef and see what we can pick up, maybe on small hooks, something like that. And Wayne is just going along trying to find what the edge of this bank is. There's another boat up there fishing away. Uh, put the anchor down while we've got a bit of slack tide. Could be running for a little while and then we'll just try and see what we can pick up. Who knows, going our dog, black green, we don't know what we're going to catch. But at least we're not wasting our time. Because if we're out there and there's no tide, it generally seems to be no takes. Best to move, change your tactics, change your tackle, maybe change the size of the bait.
it's a bite. Right, we've anchored up. Anchor seems to be holding. I've got some small fish bites here. Got two tiny bits of mackerel uh, on a, I think it's about a size four freshwater hook. And Wayne assures me you can catch virtually anything here. And this light rod there, spinning rod, I've got a mackerel head on that. So if a toe picks up, it might be a one way ticket, but it'll be fun watching it. But whether this is just a dogfish, I don't know. It's on the lucky white rod again. Oh, it's just come off. Oh, nobody will believe me, but there was a good fish on there. Oh, no, that was a good fish. He has bit me off. That might have been a small tote then, Wayne. Yeah, watch out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut before I said that might be a small tote. I wonder what that was. Big bait, Wayne? Yeah, it's uh, well, big. It's um, a cone, a cone of a mackerel with a tail. Yeah, a little bit on that one. It's a bit. Tail cone of a mackerel. Head shakes, I wonder what that would be. <laughs> bass. I think it might be a bass. I think of the head shakes, I was thinking of the head shakes. It might I be a bass. I think it might be a bass, I don't know. It's a bass. It's a bass. <laughs> it, looks like yeah, a nice, it looks like a nice bass. I'll tell you yeah. what, we, we kind of... It's a nice bass on, a, on that, and that, yeah. We can't get away from it. We can't get away from it. <laughs> bass man he is. <laughs> Look at that. A, a nice, nice bass, a cracker, isn't it? It's a nice bass too. Well, I never. So it's head shakes made it, isn't it? You yeah. know, they're banging yeah. head shakes. As soon as you come up high and... Let's get the net. Tell you what, you, you, listen. That's a nice fish, isn't it, Wayne? You'd be over the moon with that. Wouldn't you, Jess? Yes. <sighs> Look at that. That's You'd be over fucking, the moon with that's that. That's a big bass. That is a big bass. And he. Ah, oh, that's not <laughs> far off doubles, Wayne. That, guys, is a, a chunk of another bass. It's just beyond belief. Well, as you can see, right, I've got a slight wire trace there because I'm. I'm oh, yeah, here, I, here. I had, I'm fishing with tope really, and uh, I know people don't use it. Well, I do. I find it no problem. And would you, would you, Adam and Eve? That, oh, no, uh, no, no. Another no. good bass, and you're thinking, we can't get away from, them, can we? Well, it's bass specialists that would tell you you never catch a bass on wire. Well, well, you just have. Nice fish too. It's a cracker. It's a real cracker. Okay. Well, look, I've got the hook out. Left him in the net. And we'll uh, give him a quick lift up. Look at That's that a big it. fish, isn't it? That's a That's big fish. That's another very, very nice big bass. Big chunky bass. Now. It's nines, I think that isn't it? Close to nines, that one. Look, Look at, at that go. Bang. I've got a small fish. Might be a pouting, who knows what it is. I have only got very, very small strips on tiny little strips trying to see experimentally what's down there. And after that cracking bass by Wayne, what am I going to follow it with? A dogfish, a pouting, or a small bat bream? Well, it's, look, it's a bream. Only a small one. But if I turn him round, come up with his fins hopefully pop that hook out as easy as that and get him back they're scad or, or horse mackerel these are only small um, very very bony very oily very tough in fact really if you use these as live baits I know someone who caught a bass on one came back alive put it down caught another one <laughs> so um, they are tough little fish nice and oily though the Chinese um, Asian market go go mad for those. So they eat those, right? Oh, so, they go crack. Well, they eat everything. Let's yeah. face it. But they uh, they do particularly like the, uh, the the little horse mackerel. So there you go. We've got the ultra light that's just been picked up. A chunk of mackerel. That's all it is. Man, it's just like digging on the bottom. It's like a big. We think it's a ray or something like that. But it just does not want to come off the bottom. I got it kicking. It's like he's stuck there. Hey, look, there's the kick. I just need to such a. I don't want to break the rod because I really, really like this rod. It's the only light rod. Just got to get him. 
a few turns off that bottom. I think I can get him moving now. We think it's a ray. I mean, we're not sure we think it's a ray. It's a very slow bite, and it just, I just noticed the line uh, going up tide. Well, he's moving now. Now we got him moving. Certainly acting like a ray. We've got that deadness about it, wasn't it? What would you, would you uh, undulates here, Wayne, thornbacks? Um, this particular mark, a lot of undulates. Um, I wouldn't have said it's a spotted because they're smaller, obviously. And you get thornbacks here too. A short distance away, you get um, small island like, blondes as well. On, on, oh, really? Uh, over on the Medmary, so. Um, oh, come on, that wind, I can feel that well, wind. I'd, I'd suggest it's undulate. We're on undulate territory, and we've got some lo lovely undulates on the south coast. I mean, the British record, I think, is something like. 22 pounds, but there's certainly 22 pounds. Well, wow. yeah, there's been bigger fish in that court, really. Oh, undoubtedly, yeah. Oh, finger slipping. Yeah, we don't like taking uh, taking rays, so they, they generally go back live. Almost everybody puts them back around this way, don't they? Way, yeah, well, uh, seem to. The ECA um, fishing section had a, a voluntary um, no take on Mandulet, so we, you know, for a long, long time, we just didn't take them. But they become the most common ray in this area, without question. More so than the thornbacks, isn't that? Yeah. It used to be thornbacks. And Here he comes. Is. What is that? Well, on his. I would put money on it a bit, as in there is an under that. There you go. Nice under that. We well, took a while coming off the bottom. I suppose the rods, rods are light. Yeah. Well, they use them big old wings and hug bottom. So beautiful fish. Let's just take him slowly. Go around once more, and I'll get him the right way. Those boys, those boys. There he is. Wow, he nice and he dropped the mic then. That would be that third mic I've dropped in the water. Lovely looking fish, lovely markings. Not bad, some male fish. Quite chunky one too. Nice size weight. Not a bad day's fishing, mate. Or well, half half day's fishing. Yeah. This feels a bit doggyish, this one. We haven't had a dog yet, so we've been Relatively fortunate. Yeah, I'm amazed we haven't. Oh, the out. In recasting. And indeed, we have a customer. <laughs> we have a customer. The day's fishing wouldn't be complete without one of these. Dirty dog. <laughs> 